Right, so we're going to go on to hyperlinks now, and I'm just going to teach you how to put hyperlinks into tables and also make text hyperlinks and image hyperlinks as well. And first, we'll start off by inserting an AP div like we did earlier. So, insert AP div, and then here we'll insert a table. One row, four columns. Now, that'll vary on depending on how many pages you've got. But uh, for now, we'll keep it to four columns. And in there, you can actually edit the size like we did before. And also these. So we'll first, we'll type in home page. And the second page. Now I know we haven't made a third and fourth page yet, but just for example's sake, we will put them in anyway. And I'm just changing these so they're all at 100, so it's all even, and they'll all be equal. So once you've played around with this, you'll get used to how Dreamweaver kind of plays with you, so you'll just get used to it. Right, so once you've got your table, position that wherever you want and that's going to be kind of acting like a menu bar for your links so first we're going to do is highlight home page and go to insert hyperlink so you can see the text that you highlighted it's come up there and you click on browse now you're going to have to find where you saved all your HTML files, which should be in a folder called HTML files. And select the page that you want to link to, which is the home page. And OK. And OK again. And now what you'll notice is that the colors actually changed to orange. And if you remember, in the CSS code in the earlier tutorials, we actually change the links to orange and you can check that as well in the page properties link color gold orange and okay and then it's the same with the second page uh, but this time you can actually use the properties bar down at the bottom and click on link and browse file and then second page and okay like I said, you might have to play around with this a bit more and when you do actually have a third and fourth page it's the same principle. You'd highlight them, click insert hyperlink or at the bottom. Now in theory this should work so we'll give it a test. F12 to test your site in a browser. Right, and that's what your site will look like when it's in the browser and we'll go to home page first. Right, that's worked. That's linked to home page, but we haven't set any hyperlinks up on the home page to link back to the second page. So always remember when you are making websites to keep layout consistent and also keeping links on each page working to every single site in your website. Right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make an image a hyperlink. But we'll go over that in part two of the hyperlink tutorial.